everyone and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. So today's video lesson we're going to have a look at the role of your right elbow in the golf swing, what it should be doing, uh, set up during the backswing, into that downswing and then into the follow through as well. So let's have a look um, at what should be going on here. So at setup, if you're a right-handed uh, player, pop your hands on, we've got a good athletic posture here. And left arm's gonna be uh, quite straight. Right elbow's gonna have a little bit more flex into it. And right elbow is, is kind of rotated inwards and towards uh, the right side of your torso. So that's a great position to start from. Now, as we swing back in the backswing, upper body is going to rotate round to the left and we're going to keep the left arm nice and straight. So right elbow will bend and will go into this kind of position, okay? Now, one of the biggest issues that I see with um, a lot of amateur golfers is that when they swing back, body rather than rotating round and getting a rotation into this um, shoulder and this arm position that they'll tend to pick the right elbow up and move more into this sort of position so here elbow if we look at where the bony bit of your elbow is is pointing back behind you and also the elbow is um, behind your body so from the camera angle that you're looking at there it's more to the left of your body as you're viewing it and what we need to do is learn how to get that elbow position more into this position so ideally what we want to see at the top of the backswing there with the right elbow is that the knobbly bit of your elbow is pointing downwards at the ground rather than it being rotated upwards and also that your uh, hand position, if I just do that again, so that we've got the right elbow pretty much under the hand position rather than sticking out. Again, looking from the camera angle to the left of those hands. So what we want to work on here, a uh, good drill to help you with that, if you hold uh, with your left hand, if you hold onto your bicep just above your elbow, and as you rotate your body, rather than pulling your elbow out and away from you in this manner, just keep that right elbow into your body. So don't let the arm pull away from the body. So hold onto your elbow there. You're gonna turn your body. And as you turn your body, you're just holding that arm into position. And we're gonna go into this kind of position here. Okay, again, a good analogy um, that used to come from um, some of the old pros like uh, your Jack Nicholas's would be that at the top of that backswing, you want to feel like you could hold a tray on your hand at the top of that backswing there. So, you know, if you imagine a waiter in a restaurant or waitress in a, a restaurant trying to carry a tray above um, people's heads to get to get the food and the tray out of the way. That's the kind of position we're trying to get into on that backswing. Okay, another good um, drill to do if you're just struggling with that a little bit. If you just in your hand take your golf club, just hold the head of the golf club into the palm of your hand. So you've got the palm of your hand facing you. You've got the shaft going down the outside of the hand there. And then from that position there, as you turn, we're going to turn. And you want to work on holding the bottom of that club in this position here. Whereas if that elbow had gone into a different position, into this more flying position here, you'd get this kind of look in the club that you're holding. So that's quite a nice little exercise to practice doing. Just taking, um, as I said, holding that club, holding onto the bottom of the club with your other hand. The club's down the back of that bicep. And as you rotate round, that'll get you to get that arm into position and you'll get the correct rotation that you need in that shoulder. Okay, so once we're in that position, so the movement on the downswing for that right elbow, again, wants to be from here, that this right elbow is working towards the ball. 
So it's moving back in front of the torso as the torso is turning towards that golf ball. So we get into this sort of position here and we want to maintain the flex in that elbow. Again, if you're someone that casts, what we tend to see that as you cast, you would straighten that right arm out too early on the downswing and that will release uh, a lot of speed and therefore power from uh, you into that golf club before you've got to the ball. So we want to work on keeping that bend of the elbow, keep the elbow working towards the golf ball and in front of the body until we get into this kind of hitting position that we're in here. And then once we're here, that's where the right arm should straighten and extend as you go through the ball. And that will put that sort of straightening and extension of that right arm, put a lot of speed into the golf club, but now it'll be in the golf club as you're going through the ball rather than putting that speed in, uh, into the golf club and the club head before you've got to the ball, which means you've wasted it and you won't be at full power as you go through. Okay, so once we've made that action of keeping that elbow in towards the body, it's driven down towards the golf ball from the top, it's in front of the right side of the torso, and then you're extending that right arm as you go through. So we've now rotating the body as we go through, right arm's now extended into follow through. And again, just depends here on your own individuality if you want to finish with the arm quite straight or if you'd prefer to relax it into a more uh, comfortable position at the end of the swing there that's just your kind of styling at the end there but those key bits would be that on the back swing that we've gone into this bent position here with the elbow rotated downwards as much as we can to the floor so we've got this sort of position at the top and then as we move down, that that right elbow is working towards the ball and back in front of you into this position here. And then that's where the right arm extends as you go through. OK, let's see if we can get those moves onto a golf ball and see what kind of shot and power that can deliver us. So work on those key movements as i said a good drill for you to practice when you're uh, at the top here would be hold on to the arm as you swing back so that you uh, don't let the elbow pull backwards away from the body just keep it rotated inwards again you can do the same drill with the club there just to get that feeling of that right elbow position really nice move from here for that downswing if you're using this um, position here would be to let the handle of the club now drive back towards the target so you get the feeling of where that right elbow and right arm need to be on the downswing and then to extend through really good uh, awareness and field drills for you to do there to get into uh, your golf swing if you enjoyed the tip thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the subscribe button and notifications so you'll get updated on all our releases that are all aimed at getting you to play better golf and to enjoy your, your game more but have a look through the video this will definitely help you improve uh, your striking and your shot shaping the power that you can get on that golf ball with your shots. It's another game-changing golf coaching tip.